Hello everybody, I think you all have already seen numerous caskets with such yellow QR codes. So now I'll show you how to use them. So if you see this yellow label, it means that this kit has not only paper chart, but also digital chart, which you can open with a free app Fantastitch. These QR codes now work for tablets and Android phones. So how to use it? First of all, you need to download Fantastic app on your mobile phone. So we uh, turn on the camera and scan the QR code. You will see the link for Fantastic. And you will be automatically redirected to the page of Fantastic. Press the button and here you see I have already installed it, but you can either install it or open it. The other way, let's take tablet or phone, we open Play Store and look for Fantastic app, Fantastic. Here you see this is our app and we install it. Now it will be installed onto your tablet or phone. Here it is, now you can use it, open. When you open it first time, it will ask us to log in. First, uh, you need to keep the progress, to keep the charts that you use for using all the features that you have in the app. So now I will first. First, we need to sign up. So first time we press sign up. Here we need to insert our email and think of a password. Here, be very careful, don't make a mistake because you will get a letter to this email if you made a mistake in the email, you will not get uh, your letter. And then insert the password. And press sign up. You will get the message that you have to visit your email and to make sure that you have your letter. So if you uh, see that you do not get any inbox letters, then please check spam because it might get there. And then we press here. I have found it in spam as you see. And yeah. Here it is. And I have to press this button. And then you have finished sign up. And you can use the app. So after you have signed up, now you need to log in and we insert the password. Here you will see that you have already free charts and here you will see the charts that you have downloaded into the app. So now I want to show you the features. So let's try to use the QR code. We open our kit. Here we see, as always, DMC threads, fabric, Zweigert, and paper chart, which you can, of course, use as well. And then here inside the kit, we have manual and QR code. Uh, so now I'll show you how to scan the QR code to get your digital chart. So here you have the same as is shown. We need to press plus button and then scan QR code. And we scan it, turn it on. You have to allow it. And then you will see the QR code scan, which you need just to put next to the QR code. And here you see, you see the chart. 
if uh, you could not make it for the first time here below you also have numbers that you can just dial here i see uh, you see i got it automatically i see that it is the right kit and it is the right chart and uh, also here you have a warning that this chart and this QR code you can get only once. So if you activate it once, other users cannot use the same QR code because it is only for one user. And so I will add it to my app. I can use this account uh, here on tablet and on my uh, mobile phone, so it doesn't matter, you have one account. You can use it uh, from any from any device and progress will be synchronized. So I will add it to my account. Here it is. And now I have both digital chart and paper chart. So, and we see that now our chart is here. It is absolutely the same as one on the paper. But here it is easier to see it because you can see the colors, you can highlight the color that you are stitching, for example, this one, for example. For example, I see this number 34, here it is, in two strands, all the information is here. And we are going to work this symbol, G, and also French knots somewhere will be. So if I press marker, I will mark the stitched area like this. If you want to use some other color, then you change it and choose another one like cheeks, for example, yeah, it's number 20. Here it is. I see all the information, two threads, this symbol, and also I can, for example, cross-stitch it and then mark it as stitched. I can hide it or I can, again, have a look if I need the information. Also, you can choose the symbol, go for it like this. All the symbols that I have, for example, I choose one. And I will at once see it here in my app where it is. Yeah, it is a mix. By the way, if we open this, we will see that's number four and number 16 from organizer. 16 and number four here. These two colors, we mix one strand of each color and cross stitch this symbol. I can hide it and can mark the stitches. We can also have a look what other features we have. Let's have a look for backstitch, for example. Here we see a blend in backstitch, so we open the information. 38 plus 16, we see that we take one strand of each with this color. We will work the cross stitch. This symbol stands for this number and backstitch. You can also get full information here. If you want, you can show only backstitch or only cross stitch. Here, for example, I see only backstitch on my chart. If you don't want, you can add cross stitch and you can work cross stitch and backstitch at the same time. So you can work it at the same time and mark it at the same time, or you can mark only backstitch or only cross stitch. There's also such an interesting feature that here we have the visibility. For now we see all the elements of the chart. This cross makes cancel like this. So um, here in this feature we can change the transparency. Now we see all the elements of the chart. If I like I can make uh, some of them transparent like cross stitch for example then I'll be Better to see backstitch. If I like, I can make backstitch and lazy daisy transparent. You see, then they kind of vanish. Yeah, I can, see, or I can even turn it off or turn it on. Yeah, so here you can change how you see it. 
so that you can focus on the stitch that you are cross-stitching now. Here, for example, you see French knots, so I can make them transparent or turn them off completely, like this. Then it will be easy for me to see the symbols under them. So that's how it looks. And then here we can also see the statistics. If you like, for example, today I uh, cross-stitch 5 minutes and I have marked 82 cross-stitches or half-stitches and back-stitch. Here you will see how much time you need if you are going to work with the same pace. Yeah, so how much time you need for this work. And here also you will see how much you have left to cross stitch. So now I have 0.4%. If I mark it more, for example, like we can mark it all if, for example, you are working it all together without choosing the color. You can even mark it like this. So let's say I have cross-stitched. You see statistics has changed to already we see 1.2%. So I need 8 hours for this picture if I cross-stitch that fast. And now we can also see what we have cross-stitched and we can see it on the chart and on our cross stitch and we can check so i can turn on the heart shape and see that's what is cross stitch and now you can check it if you see that on your fabric you see the same then you haven't made any mistakes and i'll return it back and also there are lots of different functions and features so you can turn on and turn off all the different highlights all the uh, different Feature is here, turn on and turn off the grade. You can make the lines, guidelines, and you can turn the symbols off if you don't like them, for example, or you can turn them on. Uh, you can mark parking, or you can turn the navigator on uh, where each picture is, where you are in a big picture. And you see here we have all the palette, all of the uh, numbers that we have. Here you can separately see additional. This one is additional organizer for additional. Yeah, and all the rest is according to the number. I hope this video was helpful. So please write down below what else you are interested, what else you would like to know about Fantastitch. Thank you.